wash daily, daily wash, wash daily. God, please clean my room this time. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Daily Wash Wednesdays. Today we're going to discuss how to look in the mirror and see your true reflection every time. Our scripture reference will be taken from 2 Corinthians, the 4th chapter, 18th verse, and we will be reading from the Amplified Version. It says, Since we consider and look, not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen, for the things that are visible are temporal, brief and fleeting, but the things that are invisible are deathless and everlasting. Wow. Hallelujah and praise God. So today we are going to discuss how to look in the mirror and see your true reflection every time. If we reflect on our scripture reference, we understand that anything that we see in the physical realm is not what matters in this life. What matters in this life are the things that are unseen, which deal with things in the spiritual realm and how we command things in our world with the authority that we have in Christ Jesus. Understand that the mirror that you need to look in to see your true reflection would be the Bible, the Word of God. And if you're not studying your Word, if you're not pursuing God's Word in your life, then there's no way that you can know what you need to do to execute this life in what we would deem as close to a flawless manner. Now don't get me wrong, I know that as a human being we make mistakes and we are imperfect. But our perfection comes through our belief and our execution through Christ Jesus. So... I'm here to tell you today that though I'm a person who loves fashion, I love to take pride in my dress and my physical appearance, and I know that many of you are those people as well, it's time today that you understand that the mirror that's important for you to look into is the Word of God. And that Word of God is going to show you your true self, it's going to show you what you're made of, it's going to tell you the things that your Heavenly Father needs for you to work on, and it's going to tell you the power and authority that you have in this earth. How can you possibly understand what to do with life's daily battles, what to do and to know what you're truly dealing with if you're not reading God's Word? Point blank period, bottom line. I meet so many believers on a daily basis. I meet so many Christians. I know so many Christians who call themselves followers of Christ, but they don't read God's Word. So they actually believe in things that we should not believe in, like different superstitions. And I know we all come from different backgrounds where that's in my family. And we have people who do things with following horoscopes and who seek out palm readings. You get the gist. And in our world today, you know, you may consider it all fun and games. But we know that God's Word tells us that we shouldn't be participating in any of those things. Those things actually come from the evil one, which would be Satan and the devil. You might not like it, but I'm here to tell you the truth. And that's why God is allowing me to speak to you today. He's using me as a vessel. And I'm so glad to stand up boldly to do this today. So, if you haven't already, I encourage you and urge you to go out right now to go get that mirror that's going to allow you to see exactly what you need to see. It's going to show you the things you need just as a road map would if you've lost your sense of direction in life. I pray that you will not fall back away from this thing. It's time for you to get it together. You can no longer claim to be one who belongs to God when you don't understand what it means to be a part of his kingdom and what it means to fully execute the power and authority that he's given you. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord Heavenly Father, thank you so much for reminding us that the true mirror that we need to see every day is your holy word, Father God. For we know that you make man in your image. And if we were made in your image, then it is our responsibility to strive to be more like you each and every day on this earth. Father God, please forgive us for making idols out of other things in this world and for pursuing to copy and mimic things that are not of you, Father God. We thank you so much for allowing us to come back to you today, for allowing us to pour out our hearts to you today, Father God. Thank you so much for giving us your holy word. Thank you for allowing it to be the compass that we need to pursue your will on this earth, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that you are reminding us that even though those of us have not come across certain elements in your word. You said that you still hold us accountable for every word in that Bible, Father God. So we thank you, Father God, that even though we may not have all the answers, you said in Jeremiah 33 and 3 that if we just call out to you, you will answer us and give us 
the secrets to things that we cannot know. And we thank you for that, Holy Spirit. Lord, we love you. We lift your name on high. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless. Daily wash, wash, daily.